Austin, this is something that has devastated the whole West Richland community. Our reporter Monique Ledesma went out today to speak with a local business that helps people dealing with these traumatic situations to find out what resources are available for people who might need some extra support right now. This morning I went out to support an advocacy resource center known as SARC and spoke with their executive director to find out what resources are available to the community members impacted by this tragedy. Yes, actually, yesterday we were called and requested to um, go speak with and be present for the staff. So we were there yesterday, and then this morning three of our advocates were at Wiley Elementary at 8 o'clock this morning. They asked to have advocates there to be present. While organizations can call SARC for help, Garrison says the resources are available for anyone who needs them. We want the community to know that, that we are here and available. We have our 24-hour crisis line. Again, we can provide services on on site, we can we can go to school, we can go to workplaces, and people are just welcome to come in and talk and be able to let us know what their needs are and we can do our best that we can to meet those. Garrettson says moving forward, Sark is open to continuing to help students at William Wiley Elementary School if needed. On Wednesday morning, the district superintendent said they are focusing on other resources for now. Even today we have uh, neighboring districts, have counselors, social workers in our school um, and at the district office for families. We, um, we also are working with the individuals that were right there uh, and witnessed the event to actually have extra counseling. Gerritsen also says for anyone who feels impacted by this situation to not hesitate and to reach out. I would just encourage people that if they are impacted um, and having a hard time to not be afraid to reach out and even if you didn't know any of the victims or didn't have someone that you know go to the school it can still it can still be bothersome to the community at large because it's a highly shocking situation and it's scary and so really anyone who is affected by the trauma definitely should feel free to reach out and ask for some help. Garrison also says that all these resources are free and confidential. We will have a link to these resources on our Apple Valley News Now website along with that 24-hour crisis line number. Reporting in the newsroom, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Monique, thank you for that and of course stay with Apple Valley News Now for continuing coverage of this story.